Whoa, nice pike. Nice pike. Oh. <laughs> We are here at the lake. First time fall fishing out of a kayak. Pretty excited. The wind is starting to pick up already. It's already, and it's only about 6.30 in the morning or so, I think. So we'll check what time it is. 7.20 actually. Gonna start off with my favorite lure, Funkbuster bait, war, uh, warbird. I don't know why I keep on want to say warbird, bird, but five feet of water. Let's see what we can catch out of this lake. I always feel so naked coming out to a new body of water. I didn't do much research on this lake. I don't know if there's walleyes, there's smallmouths. But yeah, it is chilly today. Water temp is only 60 degrees. Let's take a look at the map here. I think. We're just gonna follow the weed, weed lines. Try fishing about five to 10 feet of water to start off with. I'm not sure if we're gonna find any bass under the docks this time of year now, because it's uh, a lot colder. The fish are probably transitioning into deeper water. That's why I'm gonna stick around the five to 10 feet of water. And there's supposed to be smallmouths on this lake too. And smallmouths don't usually hide up hide under, under the docks. But they do love structure. So that's what we're hoping for. Oh there he goes, we got our first fish. Oh yeah, we got first fish guys. Oh yeah. I think it hit pretty hard. What did we get here? Oh yeah. Oh, what did we get? What is this, smallmouth? Yeah, got a first mama. Oh no, largemouth. Yeah, let's measure this guy up. Nice. Oh, well, hopefully you get that on video. I'm having GoPro issues, it keeps on shutting down. It's never done this before. Keeps on saying repair file, so hopefully it's nothing, nothing bad. With the camera, oh, oh, did you guys see that? That was a pike. 
<laughs> Come on, fishy. <laughs> that was cool to see, guys. There he goes. Got one. Yeah. Got another one, guys. Oh, this one feels nicer. What is this? Oh, yeah. To the creature. Nice pike, guys. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice. These guys are hungry. Let me get my net. Come on, net. Got him. Not a bad pet, guys. Yeah, probably about 23, 24 inches. I guess let's let this one go. There he goes. Let's go catch another fish. Let's go catch another fish. Yeah, think about that. This is what I love about fall fishing. The fish are going to be hungry. They're going to be really aggressive. Only because they they know that winter is coming and they gotta fatten up. Because during winter time their metallo my during winter time their metallo see I can't even talk. During winter time their metabolism is gonna be a lot slower, so they need to get some food in now so they can fatten up and they can slowly burn some fat during the winter time. But they will still feed during the winter time. But it's like with uh, any mammals out there that live in the cold water weather, they do, do need to fatten up so they have some stored food. Just in case if there is no food in the winter time for them. So it's just all basic natural nature instincts for these fish or any animals. Oh, we got another one. Wow. This is becoming a really good day, guys. What is this? Another bass? Oh, it's a night bass. Nice bass. Oh. Get in that. There he goes. <laughs> another, looks like another 13 incher. Yeah, another 13, 14 incher. Nice bass, guys. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful fish. Got another one, guys. This is on the Funkbuster Fire Tiger Spinner Bait. Bad little guy. Hold on, buddy. Hold on. Gonna take a quick selfie with this guy. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Hold on, buddy. Stop shaking. Guys, we just got a fish in 18 feet of water. What is this? Small? Whoa, that's a big old rock bass. Holy cow, that's a big old rock bass. 
Wow. 18 feet of water. Big old rock bass. Looks like he's got fungus on his skin though. Yeah, rock bass. Look how look how big this thing is on a funk buster bait. Nice. Wow. Real big rock bass. These things are good eating too, bud. It's got all these red sores and everything on them. Not sure what's not sure what all that is. So I'm gonna let them go. Oh, get better, buddy. You got a lot of red sores everywhere. Strange. <laughs> Been a real good multi-species day today. Got a couple large mouth, a couple a few pikes. Now we got that rock bass. Nice size rock bass too. That thing hit so hard I thought it was a pike. Oh, ooh, got another one. Ooh, this one feels nice. This one feels nice, guys. Right after that rock bass too. Wow. Alright, what have we got here? Oh, big pike, guys. Big pike. Big pike. There's a big pike. Oh, there's a big pike, guys. Big pike. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. 30s. Oh, this is a nice pike. Oh, my God. Look at this, guys. Holy cow. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's not giving up yet. He's not giving up. Whoa, nice pike. Nice pike. Oh, did you guys see that? Yeah, he's not ready yet. Only got 10 pound ton, 10 pound line on, so 10 pound power pearl. I do have a wire lead on this time. Let's tire him out, tire him out a little bit. Oh yeah, he's not ready yet. Wow, that is a nice pike. That is a nice pike. Where were you when I needed you? <laughs> All right, I think he's starting to get tired now. Let's see if we can get him in the net. Whoa! Yeah, not quite ready yet. Come here, buddy. Oh my God! Doesn't even want to get in the net. <laughs> There we go, let's get him in. Oh, check this guy out. Oh my God. Oh my God. Whew. This is a nice pike, guys. Oh my God. Holy cow. Ah, oh, it's sharp teeth. Holy cow, guys. This is a nice Northern Pike. Oh my God. It's heavy. This like this thing is huge. Wow, huge. Let's go catch another one. Since the water is getting cold too, you want to use something that you can retrieve slow. And these spinner baits are perfect for it. Nice slow to medium retrieve. You don't want to go too fast. Oh, there goes. Got another one, guys. Yeah. More. Oh, yeah. I think this is a bass. Oh, 
Oh yeah, it's... Oh, what is this? Oh yeah, it's a bass. <laughs> Ugh, get in the boat! Whoa, hold on buddy. Hold on buddy. Nice little 13, probably 13 incher. 13 incher or so. All right guys, let's let this one go. Let's go catch another one. Is my hand bleeding? Oh yeah, my finger is bleeding. I thought this was from a fish, but it's actually my finger. Got another fish on. Got another fish on, guys. <laughs> it's been a good day. Good morning. Wow, look at this. Holy cow, that's another big rock bass. Jeez. The pog rock are killing it right now with the rock bass. Holy cow. For whatever reason, it's got like some like skin fungus or something on them too. It's a good eater too. Man, very nice. Nice. Big fat rock bass. Oh, there it goes. Another fish on. Is this another pike? Yep, another pike. Nice, nice, nice. Not a huge one, but another nice one. Hold on, buddy. Nice. Not bad. 18 19 incher. Let's let it go. <laughs> another little, another rock bass. Jeez. This one was hungry. This is a weird looking one. They didn't have all these black dots over my eating them, but. Appreciate this one, get this one out of the population. <laughs> well, let's let this one go. Oh, there he goes. Oh, -ho! did you see that? What is this? It's fighting hard now. Oh, is that a muskie? No, it's another pike. Another nice one. Wow. Another nice pike, guys. Look at this guy. Oh yeah, he's angry. He's angry. Oh, look at this guy. Oh! Man, that hurts. Wow, that hurts. It's a strong fish, oh my god. It's like getting slapped. Wow. Another nice northern pike. Whew, slimy, slimy guys. Alright guys, let this one go. Whew, these fish are so slimy. I'm telling you, man, this... 
Wesley Warbird. It's a killer. I caught so many fish off of this thing. I think it might be the only boat out here now. The only watercraft. <clears throat> There's a pontoon and a couple boats out here before, but I don't see them no more. Alright guys, I think I'm gonna start heading back.